What if humanity's future wasn't bound to our solar system? Imagine standing on a vast starship, a city stretched across kilometers, knowing you may never see Earth again, but that your descendants might one day reach another star. Or picture bending the very fabric of space, so that stars themselves seem to slide toward you, a shortcut through the universe that breaks every intuition we've ever had about distance. These aren't just science fiction fantasies, they are real scientific concepts being studied right now, generation ships and the Alcubierre warp drive. The challenge is staggering. Our nearest stellar neighbor, Proxima Centauri, is over four light years away. Even with the fastest spacecraft ever built, it would take tens of thousands of years to get there. That's where these bold ideas come in. And before we dive deeper into them, remember, staying ahead of the frontier means curiosity is your greatest asset. Subscribe, like, and turn on notifications to journey with us into the future of technology. Let's start with generation ships. The concept is simple in theory but daunting in practice. A vessel so massive and self-sustaining it could carry entire generations of humans on a voyage lasting centuries, even millennia. Science fiction has explored this idea for decades. Think of it as a floating ecosystem, farms, power plants, social systems, all enclosed within a ship that drifts through interstellar space. Researchers at places like NASA's Advanced Concepts Office have studied what such ships would require. They would need closed-loop life support, meaning every drop of water and every breath of oxygen gets recycled. Energy would likely come from compact nuclear fusion reactors or massive solar collectors stretching like wings across space. Some proposals imagine ships kilometers long, vast habitats carrying populations comparable to modern cities. But here's the reality check. Keeping a closed ecosystem balanced for even a few decades is already one of the hardest problems in space science. Biosphere 2, an Earth-based experiment in the 1990s, tried to simulate such a system, and within two years, oxygen levels had dropped dangerously, crops failed, and human health declined. Now imagine keeping balance not for two years, but for 2000. Still, engineers argue that advances in biotechnology, genetic engineering of crops, and AI-driven system management could one day solve these problems. Closed-loop waste recycling systems could turn sewage into clean water and fertilizer. Algae farms could produce both oxygen and food, while robotic caretakers monitor the smallest fluctuations in gas composition or soil nutrient levels. The question is, could human societies endure life in a sealed vessel for that long without collapsing under the weight of social, political, or psychological pressures? History suggests this challenge may be as great as the technical ones. Human cultures changed dramatically in just a century. Imagine the cultural drift after 10 or 20 generations in deep space. Languages might evolve, belief systems could shift, hierarchies might rise or fall. Would the mission's purpose survive, or would it become legend told to children under artificial skies? Could governance structures maintain stability, or would new political systems emerge in isolation? Anthropologists argue that a generation ship is not just a machine. It's a living experiment in sociology on an unprecedented scale, where human adaptability may be the real propulsion system. And this is where the story bends. Because while generation ships embrace the long road, physicists have imagined a shortcut, the Alcubierre warp drive. First proposed in 1994 by physicist Miguel Alcubierre, this concept uses Einstein's equations of general relativity in a radical way. Instead of moving a ship faster than light, the warp drive contracts space in front of the vessel and expands it behind. The ship itself sits in a bubble of flat space, technically never exceeding the speed of light within its own frame, while the universe itself does the moving. If that sounds mind-bending, it is. NASA's EagleWorks Laboratory has run theoretical calculations on how such a drive might work. The math checks out, but the costs are astronomical. Early estimates suggested it would require more energy than the mass of the observable universe to move even a modest ship. Later refinements brought the number down to something closer to the energy equivalent of Jupiter's mass. Still impossible by today's standards, but at least a step away from infinity. Physicists have suggested that exotic materials, like negative energy densities from quantum vacuum fluctuations, might reduce the energy requirements even further. 
No laboratory on Earth can yet manipulate spacetime in this way, but the door remains slightly ajar. The implications are enormous. If warp technology ever became feasible, interstellar travel would shift from being measured in generations to being measured in weeks. That would rewrite the very concept of exploration. Imagine a voyage to Proxima Centauri not taking millennia, but less than the time of a modern ocean crossing. Colonization, scientific exploration, even interstellar trade would move from fantasy to possibility. The cost barrier is beyond imagination today. But then so was heavier than air flight a century before the Wright brothers. What makes this fascinating is not just the physics, but the timelines. A generation ship could, in principle, be designed with near-future technologies. Advanced nuclear power, closed-loop biospheres, artificial gravity through rotation. We could imagine such a craft being launched within a few centuries. A warp drive, on the other hand, relies on breakthroughs in physics that may or may not ever arrive. Yet if they do, the payoff would be staggering. Travel to Proxima Centauri in days or weeks, instead of millennia. But here's a thought experiment. Let's say we built a generation ship capable of traveling at 10% the speed of light. That's fast, roughly 30,000 kilometers per second. Even then, the trip to Proxima Centauri would take more than 40 years. And that's just the closest star. If we wanted to reach stars in the Orion arm, the timeline stretch into thousands of years. A ship like this might house tens of thousands of people, essentially a spacefaring civilization. It raises profound social questions. Who gets to go? How are resources distributed? What happens to culture, identity, and governance over centuries of isolation? History on Earth suggests those questions might be harder to solve than the physics, and yet they are no less vital. Contrast that with the warp drive scenario. If space itself could be reshaped, suddenly distance becomes irrelevant. The universe could be opened in ways we can barely comprehend. We currently have no experimental evidence that space-time can be manipulated at this scale. Without exotic matter, something never proven to exist, warp drives remain mathematical curiosities. And yet, the very act of studying them pushes physics forward, forcing new insights into quantum field theory, cosmology, and gravity. The boundaries of our knowledge get tested, and even failed ideas can spark useful technologies, much like how early studies of nuclear fusion gave us magnetic confinement systems and plasma breakthroughs. And perhaps that is the most important part of this story. Whether or not we ever build a warp drive, the pursuit of interstellar travel forces us to ask, what does it mean to be human on cosmic timescales? Are we willing to send descendants on journeys they won't finish themselves, or do we wait for breakthroughs that may never come? A self-sustaining generation ship could preserve human civilization against planetary catastrophe. A warp drive could make us a multi-stellar species within a single lifetime. Both carry risks. Generation ships risk cultural stagnation or collapse. Warp drives risk staying forever in the realm of untestable equations. At this point, you might be wondering, so, which is more likely? The cautious answer is the generation ship. With enough investment, incremental improvements in life support, propulsion, and social engineering could make it possible within the far future. The warp drive is the wilder bet, dependent on physics we don't yet understand. Both paths are worth exploring, because history shows that what begins as speculation often seeds the breakthroughs of tomorrow. So stay curious, stay engaged, and subscribe, like, and turn on notifications. We're just getting started on this journey through the future. Think about this, interstellar travel isn't just about rockets and physics, it's about people. Entire lives lived inside a vessel, children who never see a sunrise on Earth, communities reinventing themselves under artificial skies, or the awe of arriving at a new world, a place no human has ever touched, with the chance to seed new civilizations. These are human stories, not just technical ones, and they remind us that behind every equation is a question of meaning, purpose, and survival. Literature has long foreshadowed this. Works like Arthur C. Clarke's Rendezvous with Rama, or Kim Stanley Robinson's Aurora, grapple with the human side of multi-generational journeys. Science fiction becomes a testing ground for the challenges of psychology, governance, and ethics. And here's where curiosity carries us forward. Right now, 
teams of scientists are probing quantum space-time, building ever more advanced nuclear propulsion systems, and modeling self-contained biospheres. Each breakthrough makes the dream just a little less distant. And if the warp bubble remains elusive, perhaps new forms of propulsion, like laser-pushed light sails or antimatter engines, will fill the gap. Breakthrough Starshot, a project backed by physicist Stephen Hawking and tech entrepreneurs, is already exploring the concept of sending gram-scale probes to Alpha Centauri using ground-based lasers. These aren't warp drives, but they hint at the diversity of approaches that could one day expand our presence beyond the solar system. The future rarely follows a single path. It spreads out like a constellation, waiting for us to navigate. But what if the real breakthrough isn't in physics, but in how we think about time and community? A generation ship demands patience and trust in descendants. A warp drive demands leaps of imagination and physics beyond our reach. Both require a kind of faith, that humanity deserves to reach the stars, that we can endure the challenges, and that our story doesn't end here. Perhaps the most revolutionary technology will be cultural. New ways of thinking about interdependence, about collective identity, about passing a torch across centuries. And perhaps that cultural leap, just as much as any rocket or warp bubble, is the key that will carry us outward. The stars are far, but they are not unreachable. Whether through massive, slow-moving arcs that carry the legacy of Earth across millennia, or through bending the very fabric of reality, humanity's next great frontier lies out there, beyond the light of our sun. The path may be long or it may be sudden, but it is coming. And when it does, it will reshape everything we know about life, destiny, and the universe itself. Until then, keep your eyes on the sky and your mind on the future. Subscribe, like, and turn on notifications. This is Tech Mythos.